Researchers in Russia uncovered a mysterious box buried deep underground, but what could possibly be inside? By the time that World War II was coming to an end in the year 1945, several years of brutal combat, mass destruction, and senseless violence were mercifully coming to an end. Even now, some 70 years later, people are still finding old remnants and haunting reminders of this bloody time in our history. One such discovery was found in a rural section of Russia called Nevsky Pyotok, and its contents really helped to shed some light onto the incredible darkness that was World War II. Enjoy hearing stories about military treasures that were buried away in time? Don't forget to leave this story a like, and then please consider subscribing for more just like it. During an archaeological dig in the Nevsky region of Russia, historians were profoundly excited to come across what looked to be a decades-old lockbox buried deep in the mud. It looked to have been placed there quite some time ago. It was extremely heavy, and it was so caked with mud that it was difficult for the researchers to determine just what exactly it was in the first place. The box was buried so deeply into the ground that there was just no possible way that it could have been placed there by one single person. So the team theorized that maybe a natural disaster, such as a mudslide, could have altered the starting position of where the box had been originally buried. The team wondered, exactly, how long has this been tucked away underneath the earth? More importantly, what the heck was hiding inside of it? There seemed to be some kind of strange writing etched onto the front of the box, but it was simply impossible to make out what it actually said. Once the box was finally cracked open, all of the archaeologists involved in the project were left totally stunned. Inside the box, perfectly preserved, were several personal items that had once belonged to an unknown person over 70 years ago. The team first discovered a German Reichsmark, a form of currency used in Germany between the years 1924 and 1948. There was also a card placed inside that seemed to indicate that the owner of the box was a member of the Nazi party. After more careful investigation, it became clear that these items had once belonged to a Nazi soldier fighting in World War II. Still, they wondered, why would he have buried all of his possessions under the ground? There were also pieces of clothing, shoes, newspaper clippings, and other various bits of paperwork strewn about the box. Somehow, the newspaper articles were remarkably well preserved, which is a real testament to how well they were sealed up. Another curious item that was resting inside was a large box of cigars that had clearly never been touched. The team theorized that the soldier must have purchased the cigars right before he ended up burying them, and the box was still completely full and also wrapped in its original packaging. More of the soldier's vices were uncovered as well, as the box also contained two handles of Jamaican rum, completely unopened and ready for consumption. The soldier's jacket was also found inside, and much like all of the other items, it appeared to be completely untouched as well. The most amazing artifact by far, however, was the soldier's old identification tag. Though beautiful in its appearance, unfortunately, it did not contain the one key thing that archaeologists hoped to find the most, the name of the soldier in question. There has been some dispute over whether or not the amazing items are truly legitimate, but based on the evidence above, we think it's safe to say that these belongings most likely came right from the locker of a German Nazi soldier. What do you think? Are these the real deal? Are you convinced that these are genuine World War II artifacts? Let us know in the comments below, and then don't forget to like this story and subscribe for more.